Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey, what's up if you're new? My name's Raven and I'm the Soul Witch. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be discussing my knee tattoo experience and just kind of giving you guys some of my recommendations and tips and sharing my experience. Um, if you are already subscribed to me, you're probably like, what? This is not a witch related video. What's going on? Well, I used to make um, all kinds of videos in the past. If you scroll back in my YouTube videos, you'll see that I had like fashion videos and I also had um, tattoo related videos. And I feel like over the past year, I've been really focused on like witchcraft and stuff like that, which is great. My channel's always gonna have witchcraft on it, of course. Um, but I just feel like I'm gonna start sprinkling in different types of videos here and there um, to add a little seasoning, add a little flavor to the channel, okay? So um, if you're wondering why this isn't about witchcraft, we're just adding a little spice, okay? Um, and I also get a lot of questions about my tattoos and people want me to bring back fashion videos as well. So here we are. Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna quit yapping away now and we're just gonna get straight into my knee tattoo experience. So it all begins with me deciding that I obviously want to get my knees tattooed. My legs are filling up. Um, and I had thought about this time in my life uh, I would say probably like for like one to two years on what I wanted to get on my tattoos and then like who would execute the tattoos well because obviously tattooing an area of your body that's like a joint and it moves or like it's just it's got um, some strange texture to it like obviously your kneecap is your bone um, so I thought about this for a while and like this is gonna obviously hurt and through research I was like Man, I don't know how people get through this, you know, but I want my knees tattooed, so I'm gonna have to, you know, just buck up and get it done. So I ended up deciding to get two butterflies and a rose garland underneath those um, butterflies. And I got Nate Hudak out of Yours Truly Tattoo in Arizona to tattoo my knees. Um, the reason I chose him is just because his, I've been a fan of his work for such a long time. Everything that he does, he executes, he executes like absolutely amazing. So I knew that I didn't have to worry or anything like that. And I consider myself like a tattoo collector. I'm not somebody that's like, oh, well, I want to get a, a, a new tattoo. Let's go to the shop. I'm not like that in the, in the sense at all. Like I have to admire a tattooer's work in order for me to like want to be tattooed by them. So, uh. Yeah, that's what I consider myself. I consider myself a tattoo collector, not in the sense where it's like, oh, I need quantity. It's more like I admire that person's work and getting a tattoo by them is an honor sort of type of thing. So anyway, that's besides the point. I'm ranting now. But um, each knee took about four hours each. And the reason why it took so long on each knee is because the uh, tattoos are very intricate themselves. The butterflies have a lot of details and then the rose garland doesn't have as much detail, but Nate killed it on these leaves. I mean, very, very thorough tattoo artist. If you're ever in Arizona and you have the chance to get tattooed and you like um, traditional tattooing, I definitely recommend him because he's absolutely amazing. So. The pain, let's talk about the pain. Um, I am somebody that considers themselves to have a high pain tolerance. And I'm not saying that just because I like wanna look all badass or whatever, no, that's not the case at all. Like during my crystal ball, I remember falling asleep and I drooled on the tattoo table and I thought like, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> and I never thought that I would fall asleep, but I think it was because of the position I was laying in and then like, I don't know, I just, I fell asleep. It wasn't because I was weak or like I passed out. I was, I don't know. I had to drive to San Francisco from LA for that one. But anyway, um, so each knee took about four hours and I got them done the same day. As far as the pain goes, I would say scale one to 10. The entire knee itself wasn't that bad, but certain areas of the knee were super bad. So like, I don't know, I'd give it like an eight and a half pain wise, but it's not something that's like, oh my God, I'm gonna die, or oh my God, I'm gonna pass out, or anything like that. It's just like, oh, this is happening now, you know? Um, and I was telling Nate, I was like, hearing people's like inner monologue whenever they're getting like a, a piece done like this on their knees or like on their head or something like that. I mean, just listening to their inner monologue would be hilarious. Cause in my head, I'm definitely internally screaming. And it's just so funny. Cause like the situation is calm, but you're just like, this is happening, you know? and. I feel like the part of the knee that hurt the most 
um, was definitely not the part that I thought was gonna hurt the most. I don't know if you can see this or not, but the center of my knee isn't tattooed. The part that hurt the most was actually up here on the kneecap towards the uh, antennas of my butterflies. Um, and for me, typically the, the lining of a tattoo is what hurts the worst and the shading um, feels less painful to me. Um, everybody's different when it comes to that, but I would say that the shading actually hurt more on, on these <laughs> tattoos than any other um, tattoo that I've ever gotten. Um, and I will say like, the pain is totally worth it. Like, I went to a person that has been tattooing for 10 plus years, so I was in good hands. So yeah, I mean, I would say, because this happened the week before I got my knees tattooed, I normally have acrylic nails on. Um, it's like just a type of nail that you get glued on or whatever, and the week before I was supposed to get my knees tattooed, I had just gotten my nails done and I turned over in bed and my entire nail, I'm gonna put a little clip of what I'm about to explain to you. So if you don't like blood, probably shouldn't watch this part of the video, trigger warning. Um, I flipped over in my bed, I was tossing and turning and <laughs> my entire nail, the fake nail and my real nail like bent backwards because the acrylic nail is glued to your regular nail and it bent backwards and now I have no nail and in that moment in my life you guys I swear to god I felt like I was in a Saw movie because you know in Saw movies it's like a life or death situation and it was like 4 a.m. and I was like I sat up in bed and I was like did that really just happen and I turned on my lamp and I was like oh my god I'm gonna have to rip the rip the nail off i mean because the nail didn't rip off all the way it just lifted so i had to rip my entire nail out of the cuticle or go to the uh like a what is it called an emergency room but it's not an emergency room it's like a 24-hour like care place anyway long story short i ended up ripping the nail off myself that was way more painful than my knee tattoos that was a 10 out of 10 like it's, you know, it's safe to say that I probably won't be getting acrylic nails because I'm a little tra traumatized from that. I never had a nail rip off like that before and that, that was my favorite set of nails I had ever gotten. So, if you've ever ripped off a nail completely off of its nail bed, it's worse than getting your knees tattooed. So, you know, if you can handle that, you can handle getting your knees tattooed. So, um, Anyway, but yeah, I would definitely say if you want to get your knees tattooed, the pain isn't unbearable. Um, make sure you get somebody that you know can execute it well because your knee does tend to jerk a lot. Um, I'm not somebody that uses numbing spray or any of that numbing cream stuff on my tattoos. No shade if you do. I just personally don't use it because maybe I hate myself. <laughs> I don't know. Um, just kidding. But, but yeah, um, I would say, you know, if you are thinking about getting your knees tattooed, just make sure it's somebody that's good at what they do because your knee does jerk a lot. It's like, you know, you've got like a reaction, a knee jerk reaction to something digging into your skin, right? Or something like hitting your knee. Um, so yeah, just take that into consideration because not everyone can execute a knee tattoo that well. Um, but yeah, so overall I would say my knee tattoo experience was a 10 out of 10, um, but the pain wise, I don't know, eight and a half, 10 being the worst. And I'm so happy that I got my knees done. So if you guys are curious about any other types of tattoos that I have or stuff like that, you have any questions or whatever the case may be, feel free to give me a comment and I will answer and reply back. If you like this type of video on my channel, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to continue making like tattooed content if that's what you wanna see. Um, but yeah, so that was my tattoo experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!